Hello, in this video we're taking a look at why having a fear of driving is a lot like King Arthur's sword, Excalibur. Now if you think, what is he talking about, this makes no sense at all, don't worry, it will all make sense soon. My name's Paul and I work online with people all over the world to help them overcome their fear of driving. And the video you're watching playing in the background now shows me driving on holiday in the southwest of England in a place called Cornwall and I'm driving to a place called Dosmery Pool which is where King Arthur's legendary sword is said to still rest to this very day. This is where the Lady of the Lake lives and I'm not that familiar with the legend but I believe she caught the sword and pulled it under the water to look after it or something like that. Not far from here is also where Merlin, the famous magician, the wizard, was supposed to cast his spells. And in a moment, coming up on the right, is the world famous Jamaica Inn, which is said to be very haunted, lots of ghosts and spirits and all that kind of thing. And if you look at the floor on the left in a moment, you'll see the road that leads to this pool often confuses people because it looks like you can't go in and people think you can't enter here when you can. But what does any of this have to do with the fear of driving? Well, in case you haven't worked it out yet, none of these things are real. You see, King Arthur wasn't a real person. And Excalibur isn't a real sword. And there isn't really a lake with a woman living at the bottom of it looking after this magical sword. Now, whether or not you believe in ghosts and all that, that's up to you. But we're going to focus on Excalibur and it's not real. It doesn't matter how many times they dredge this lake and they have divers go down and they've had people visiting here and trying to find this famous sword so they can sell it on eBay. You're not going to find it because it doesn't exist. Now it's a beautiful story and the legend and the myth and all that. It's very romantic and it's great. And I get that, but it isn't real. It doesn't matter how much you want it to be real, it just isn't. And it's the same with your driving anxiety. It may feel real, you may have real physical sensations, you may have had it for 10, 20, 30, 40 years or more. You may be convinced that you can't drive, convinced you've got a problem that can't be fixed because you've seen everyone, you've seen therapists, hypnotists and psychologists and you're convinced it can't be overcome. That isn't true because you can overcome it. It's only real in your head. It's psychosomatic. The only reason you're feeling the symptoms physically is because you're believing them to be true. And the reason many people from all over the world visit this place that I'm going to now is because they have this glimmer of belief in their head that the story might just be true and maybe they will catch a glimpse of the Lady of the Lake or a ghost at Jamaica Inn. But are they going to? Or is it just all in their head? This is our point. It doesn't matter how real you believe your problem to be it isn't, and you can overcome it, because it doesn't really exist in the first place. Yes, you've got symptoms, yes, you've got pain, you've got sweaty hands, your heart races, maybe your neck feels stiff, you get a headache, you get butterflies in your stomach, that's all very real, but only because you are believing it to be real. And the way you get rid of it is simply to find out where those beliefs come from and it can be more than one it can be dozens and once you find that out and your mind processes that and it changes the way it thinks your life can change forever so as we arrive at Dosmery Pool which is just ahead of us that's just something to think about so thanks for watching check out these other videos on the screen now and as always I'll see you again soon for more videos